Yo, 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 what is up, sexy felines? My name is MC, I K or my cat is Keo, and welcome guys back to another episode of BOTW, the best show on the internet, possibly. Oh, uh, welcome back, guys, to another uh, build of the week. Today, we're gonna take a look on Frost slash Frost Prime because you guys were asking this, and uh, actually, one of you guys commented this uh, in my last video, Gaia's Tragedy. Uh, you know who you are. I just haven't took the time to find your comment and take a video picture clip of it okay anyway thank you for requesting this tutorial or this BOTW so uh, yes I uh, I'm like halfway certain that this is a good build <laughs> with my frost I'm hoping everything everything looks good hopefully you guys hopefully you guys like this build and uh, my hairs uh, um, yes okay let's do this for realsies well alright so, to start off, I hope you guys like this. I'll show you guys the stats, and then I'll show you guys how I got the stats with the mods. So, power duration, uh, I think there is no more mods, there's no more, uh, abilities with him anymore that needs duration, if I, if I, if I'm, if I'm correct. I do not believe we have duration anymore, so, maybe there's one ability or something we, we have duration on, but, um, I mainly did not build this with duration whatsoever, so, yeah. Negative duration all the way, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, fleeting expertise to bring the efficiency up to 140. And streamline as well to bring it up to 140. Because it was cancelled out a bit by this mod. But, yeah. Anyway, so efficiency is at 145. Range is at 160. And strength is at 116. Uh, I try to make a really good strength build because most of his abilities now cost strength. Or work on strength. Um, globe is... Uh, Chill it was uh, Frost's Globe usually didn't. That was the only ability that used duration, and now that's turned into strength. So basically, it's just how many hits it can take before it, you need to put another shield, uh, put another bubble down, basically. Uh, so yes, uh, the efficiency was with the streamline and fleet expertise to get to 140. The range I went with a stretch, max stretch, and a overextended rank, unranked, or unranked overextended. I put this on here because it actually fit. I couldn't find anything else to fit on here. Uh, you guys can feel free to do and ask in the comments and tell me if there's something else I can put on there. A vitality won't fit. A uh, redirection won't fit because oh, there's a look at this. See, there's not enough room. And I just like, I'm sorry. I just saw this and I'm like, hey, it's at 145 range. Now it's at 160. Perfect. And it takes the strength down just a little bit, but I think it's still much better to have more range. To have a, a basically a bigger globe, more range to do everything basically, because his his abilities work on range too, range and strength. So that's the main aspects of his abilities. All right, so take a look at the strength mods. Uh, so the strength mods will be blind rage and transient fortitude for our strength. Once again, it takes the duration down and efficiency down, but that's why I put both efficiency mods on this build. And uh, last but not least, we have flow for more energy. And I personally, this is up personal preference I think this mod is fantastic chilling globe uh, it slows enemies down enemies that enter have a 50% chance to be become frozen solid for eight seconds it's very helpful and um, I don't know I think it's a really good mod so you can put it on if you want to but if not uh, let's see for those people that don't have this mod let's see uh, let's think about this legitly what could you put on something that's 10 or below you could always put a lower redirection on possibly Redirection or vitality if, if you have enough room there if you're a noob like me or you could always just add more strength Maybe no, no, not enough room or you could take over extend it off and add more strength That's what you could do to make your um, Your shield more buff so That's always an option or you could do natural talent If you don't have the chilling chilling globe chat natural talent works pretty well there, too uh, Yeah Actually, that works very well because it does take quite a while for him to cast a lot of his abilities. Like his number four it takes a very long time. Number three is, is globe. It takes a little time for him to, to do the thing. If you want like an instant globe, 
if you're in those um, you know like late rounds like you know in t4s survivals defenses mainly defenses but yeah so that's always an option or you can even do range a rage if you want rage that's always good too uh, anyway, yeah, so this is the build guys. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah re Rejuvenation for my aura. Sorry. I almost forgot that <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm gonna go hop into a mission uh, and just show you guys basically all the abilities and see how much damage they can do uh, With the strength seeing how this is a strength to build so I'm gonna go and drop into a t3 or t4 defense with some friends and uh, yeah Show you how this works Alrighty Let's do this t4 survive. Oh, no, we brought okay. No, I'm not I wanted to showcase my frost Damn it! <laughs> we didn't really talk about who was going who, uh, but uh, whatever. I'll be I'll be showcasing mine uh, number four too. Wow, this Ignis does a lot of damage for only having a couple mods on it. That is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, I think they've really increased his abilities quite a bit too. Like his number two. I don't think it ever really used to be that powerful. Wow. Wow. Holy moly. Whoever, who still says holy moly? Jesus Christ. Alright. It just spreads so much. This is awesome. Great crowd control. Wow. That is so cool looking too. <laughs> Man. That's awesome. Alright. Um, I guess I'll try this number one ability too. Because I'm pretty sure that his number one ability instantly freezes any enemy that touches it. I think they changed it now. Or MSO is always like that. I don't know. Or I could totally just one hit kill everything. Holy crap! How is it doing that much damage? This is a top four survival. How is it doing this that much damage? What? Alright, I'm gonna put some more globes down. Some more globy globes. As you guys can see with the mod, I'm pretty sure he uses it too. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, this guy, has a, this guy has a huge globe, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. Anyway, yeah, the size of the globe, I think, is pretty big. For 160 range, it's plenty of, of range. And, uh, yeah. As you can see, the, uh, the mod, the augment mod, it gives this blue, or this, whatever the energy color is, this little... Kind of looks like the, uh, Northern Lights. Kind of looks cool. And basically, if enemies walk through it, they have a 50% chance of basically freezing entirely. And that basically makes them vulnerable for an attack. One hit kills him. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to do a little more of this. And I'm supposed so surprised my Ignis is doing this much damage. This is amazing. I'm loving this. Da -da 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 -da. And, um, yep, as you can see. Wait, am I able to put more than one globe down? I did not know that. I thought you could only put one globe down. That's awesome. I don't know why I thought that. Everyone kept telling me. I haven't used Frost ever since the update, and I like it. I just took everyone's word for it like a little bitch. Okay. Alright. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing in my life. I need to stop stop doing things. I need to stop doing things. That is that is a true fact. Alright. I'm gonna start using my number four ability and see how much damage this thing does with the uh, Here we go. Okay, I couldn't really see the enemies that I killed, but it killed quite a few laser uh, enemies. <sighs> all right, sorry, people are texting me or, or messaging me in, in the game. Um, all right, let's try this again on this person all the way over here. Got him! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you can literally just throw a shit crap ton of these globes down and you'll have like ultimate defenses because there's no more duration. So you can just literally do this. Dear God, this is going to be amazing. So it'll take a long time for them to get through all of those defenses. Man, they've really increased uh, Frost a lot since the last time I've played with him. Oh man, that's awesome. That's, that's really cool. I, I'm glad they did that. Yep, his, um, his number four ability is still amazing as usual. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Even when the scale, the damage just scale up though, Frost is still pretty amazing with his number four because it's good crowd control. Yeah, yeah, fire and ice, baby. Ignis for the fire, 
across the ice. That's attractive. So I could literally just, I could literally just do this, and they could all just be frozen in time, right? Is that how it works? Wow, that is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, it takes away globes. Okay. So, what I'm getting here is now you can only have a certain amount of globes. So, you can only have like five globes. Maybe five globes. I think I'm actually correct there. I'll check. I think it's on the abilities tab. But, yeah, five globes. That's cool. Well, I'm probably not going to be going back to the ship because I want to end the video off here. Um, yeah. But, uh, anyway, yes. Look at this. Boom! Everyone turns into ice. You're as cold as ice. One day you'll pay the price. Okay, I'm gonna end this up before I get any more stupid. Um. Uh. Anyway, thank you for watching the video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. I am going to probably finish this up. Maybe play some more rounds with some some peeps of mine I invited. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said once again, uh, subscribe to the feline pack if you guys want to see another BOTW. Leave it down in the comments below, and I will see what I can do. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Stay sexy. Stay awesome. I know you guys will. And peace out.